Hi, I'm Kathy Thomas, and I'm thrilled to welcome Jared Cook, executive chef partner at Bloom Restaurant and Bar in San Juan Capistrano, the latest addition to Rust Bindel's restaurants. Chef will reveal the secrets to creating irresistible bone marrow. Chef, I'm so glad you're here. Tell me about what makes this bone marrow so delicious. Absolutely, yeah. This is one of my favorite dishes at the restaurant because not only is bone marrow amazing on its own, but we're gonna top it with a lot of really unique things from the Cambazola cheese, which happens to be a favorite of my cheeses, mm -hmm. to the melted garlic. And I've got a fun little salad with pickled raisins and parsley. So it's definitely a unique presentation of, of bone marrow. Fantastic. We're gonna start by searing? Absolutely. All right, let's get to it. First step is I've got this pan ripping hot and I'm going to add our blended oil here. Now when I go to the butcher shop to order these, what do I ask for? So this is a six inch split marrow bone. A lot of the times you'll see them as a cross cut bone. The cross cut bones are great, but you need a little special spoon to get them out and then you put them on your toast. This is specifically what we get for this dish. Wonderful. This is just kosher salt. This is freshly ground pepper. And, and I see smoke. Yep very gently without flashing ourselves because it is very hot. Cautiously. Very well put, yeah. yes. Cautiously. So we're gonna take about a minute. And I think it's interesting that one is practically clean of meat and the other one <laughs> is a little more generous. <laughs> yeah, they just come that way. We're not eating that side of it anyway. That meat would be very tough and need a very long time to cook. It's uh, getting to be nicely browned. I'll give it just another second on the burner. All right, so we've got a nice little oh, sear yeah. going on our bones. So we're gonna go into our very hot oven right now, 475 degrees. All right, it's only been in there a couple of minutes. Yeah, and I think we're ready to for the next step. And what's the test? All right, so what we're gonna do is take my little paring knife here and just give it a little peek, and we're nice and getting soft. It's almost a rare meat kind of tenderness. Yeah. And what have you got there? So I call this melted garlic. It's basically slow roasted garlic, and it's cooked so low and slow that it's melting when you touch it. It's very, very soft. We do it in a large batch of olive oil, very, very low and slow for a few hours, and it softens right up. This is our Cambazola cheese right here. As you can mm. see, it's blue brie. It's one of my favorite cheeses on earth. I just cut it into small... Little chunks. Little chunks, that's all it is. And we're just gonna layer it on. How could that be bad? I know, it already looks great. And now we're gonna go back into the oven and let the bone marrow finish softening as well as melt all this beautiful cheese. Oh, look at that. Absolutely perfect. Oh, that is just that is gorgeous. What we're, that's what we're looking for. And then if I give it a poke, the, it is completely meat butter. Now there's no resistance. All we gotta do is plate. Okay. This is exactly how we do it in the restaurant. We just kind of make like a fun little bed because when the hot bones hit the herbs, it's very aromatic, but it also gives us a little secure landing zone. Lovely, so you've got some sage there and some yep. thyme and some rosemary. Yep, so those will go just like this. Gorgeous. We're gonna just top it with our salad. This is rosemary focaccia bread, and I just grilled it on the grill. It has a lot of olive oil in it as it is. This is a little lemon-infused extra virgin olive oil, and I just kind of give it a little bit of that to finish. How gorgeous, chef. It's just amazing. People are scared of bone marrow. They don't have to be. Get over the fear. <laughs> meat butter. Yes, meat butter indeed. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Here's a quick tip from Melissa's. Asparagus, that royal member of the lily family, can be sheer ambrosia if it's carefully selected and perfectly cooked. I love Parmesan roasted asparagus. Roast medium-sized stalks on a rimmed baking sheet. Drizzle with some extra virgin olive oil and roll them back and forth to coat. A little coarse salt and freshly ground black pepper. Roast them about 15 minutes in a 400 degree oven or until tender. Then sprinkle with grated Parmesan cheese. Then back in the oven just long enough for the cheese to melt. For added browning or crunch, sometimes I pop them oh so briefly under the broiler. Ah, asparagus season.